Okay. So now I have prepared two data or two wells, well one and well two. And now I need to input data into the tank one. Okay, you can follow me. I have prepared my data for tank one. Temperature 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Initial reservoir pressure 6,000. Porosity in fraction 0 0.5. 2.3, water saturation 0 0.15, water compressibility will be calculated using correlation, gas cap, no gas cap, original oil in place in MMSTB, 217, start of production, of course, as per the first well, the well one, it is on 1st January of 1997. OK, water influx. Let's assume it doesn't have water influx first. Rock compressibility will be calculated using correlation. No rock compaction. And relative permeability data we can input. Relative permeability from Cori functions. Hysteresis, no. Modified, no. And then for this table, you can follow me. The endpoint 0 0.6, exponent 1, to make it simpler, 0 0.8, 1, 0 0.02, 0 0.9, 1. OK. Well allocation, well production allocation. One, 100% 1, from well one, and one from well two, 100% from well two. And now we go to production history type. All right, so from here, we can press calc, okay? And let's read the remarks here. Warning, limitation of method. To calculate an average pressure, a detailed description of the geology is required, okay? However, if we assume an isotropic reservoir and all wells start and stop at the same time, we can estimate a drainage volume proportional to the rate. All right, so this is the condition. We have isotropic reservoir and all wells start and stop at the same time, okay? If the assumptions are in any way invalid, then the calculation will yield incorrect answers. In this case, the calculation of average pressure must be done outside of MBAL. Okay, and you can see that the well one and well two don't start and stop at the same time. And that's why we cannot press calc to obtain the average reservoir pressure. That will give us error that will give us incorrect reservoir pressure. So in this case, let's say I have another well, monitoring well, from which I can obtain reservoir pressure data. All right, so that will be our game plan. Okay, so I prefer pressing calc first, okay? And then the reservoir pressure obtained from the amble from the calculation will be erased and change with the prepared reservoir data obtained from monitoring well, okay? So let's press call. The calculation is complete. All right, interesting, right? So we have time, we have cumulative oil produced, we have cumulative gas produced, cumulative water produced, no cumulative gas injected, no cumulative water injected. But now you can see we get reservoir pressure data from the calculation. And you know that we cannot use this reservoir pressure result. You can see it's not right. The reservoir pressure is 6,000 all the way through the years from the start of the production till the end of the history. And we will change this reservoir pressure data with our data, okay? So I will copy the reservoir pressure data and paste the data here. 
All right. I've copied my data and then I will right click here. Paste table. All right. I need to be careful. Call. Okay. So we need a strategy here. I need to input the pressure data here, but I cannot just paste table. All right, that will erase all the columns, all the tabs, all the cells. So let me try another strategy. So instead I will copy this entire table. Okay, I will copy this entire table. I will paste this table to my spreadsheet and then I will change the data at this column at my spreadsheet with the correct pressure data and then I will copy the table on my spreadsheet and paste the table here. All right, so you can do that on your spreadsheet. I will just do that in my spreadsheet and then paste it here. Okay, so I right click, copy table. All right, I will clear the table and then right click paste table. Okay, so this is my data. You can see now I have correct reservoir pressure data obtained from the monitoring well. All right. I have the entire production history combined from the production history of well one and well two. All right, I can plot. Okay, so this is the plot. I have reservoir pressure data, interesting. And I have the cumulative oil production data. You can see here we have a significant drop of reservoir pressure. Okay, and also we have significant rise of cumulative oil production. Okay, here, why? Yeah, because we have a new well, well two. Okay, so the history of this pressure decline is caused by the production from well one. And at the January 1999, we have another well, which is the well two and it caused the reservoir pressure to drop significantly, all right? But again, it will decline and follow a pseudo steady state regime later on, okay? And you can see the slope changes at this point because of contribution from a new well, the well two, okay? Removal. You can also plot the cumulative oil production with cumulative gas production, the same trend, removal, cumulative water production, cumulative GOR. Okay, so far so good. So now we've prepared the table. We have this production history table from the reservoir and also from each well. Okay, so as usual, we click done. And you can see we have well one, tank one, and well two. And as usual, we'll do history matching for this case. Okay. You can open the history matching tab. All right. You can see we will do analytical method, graphical method, and we will see the energy plot. And we will run simulation. And we will also do this one. Okay. The matching for the fractional flow. Okay. So let's go ahead. 